about Bitcoin? Bitcoin in my hedge fund. I own Bitcoin in my fund, in my private account. Ten thousand dollars per Bitcoin in three years. Well, I think it is working. Uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. Tuning in this week to Crypto King for your weekly digital currency update. I am Carlos, and let's take a look at some happenings this past week in the world of crypto. Bitcoin. It reaches a new value all-time high of over $34,000. This point today, actually, Bitcoin has reached another all-time high at over $37,000. But last week, the all-time high was set at $34,000. So in the span of two days, we have seen Bitcoin rise another $3,000 to a new all-time high. Ethereum ends the year of 2020 with a new all-time high of $20,000, creating a lot of optimism. And it's because of the new Ethereum 2.0 project where at over $1 billion has been staked in Ethereum. Coinbase will suspend trading of the to token XRP by the company Ripple. XRP is facing a lawsuit by the Security Exchange Commission, thus creating a devaluation of the token and there has been a large sell-off as well as a deep drop in price due to this delisting happening to XRP. Polkadot becomes the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market cap according to CoinGecko. So family, those are some of the quick headlines that happened last week in crypto. Let's take a look at a few more news clippings about some exciting news in the world of crypto so that way you can understand how fast we are moving towards a digital cashless society family so let's take a look at our first article here where we read bitcoin rising at over thirty thousand for the first time in 2020 and advancing at over 300 percent in 2020 in games so this is an astonishing move here by bitcoin to end the year and right now you see exactly what's going on with the play of Bitcoin right now trading at an all time high of $37,000. The price of the world's most popular currency has traded at a high as much as $33,000 in 2020. And with all the markets closed over the weekend, this past weekend, when we changed over to 2021, we saw a new all-time high of the trade of $35,000. So that was over the weekend. So Bitcoin closed out at over $30,000 ending in 2020. And we woke up in a new year of 2021 with it trading between $33,000 and $35,000. And now today, at the time of this recording, Bitcoin has reached another new all-time high at over $37,000. Bitcoin is definitely in a bullish rally. In our next article, JP Morgan believes that Bitcoin could reach 146K, but how soon? According to the article, JP Morgan CEO might not be a big fan of Bitcoin, but it seems that the bank analysts firmly believe that there's room for growth with Bitcoin. In a new note to their investors, it simply stated that the investment bank strategies, they reveal that Bitcoin could be worth $146,000 in the long term. However, JP Morgan stressed that in its view, the world's biggest cryptocurrency is unlikely to hit that point, price point this year. So basically what they're saying here is, is that Bitcoin is not going to hit $146,000 this year well in my opinion i would have to disagree with jp morgan and their strategists i think that bitcoin will be over two hundred thousand dollars this year hey but it's all speculation because anybody's guess is is good is a good guess so we'll just have to sit back and wait and see what actually happens with bitcoin and what a price point will be at the end of the year of 2021 in our next article here, we see that the U.S. Treasury wants to supply, supply a Secrecy Act rule to the crypto wallets, meaning the crypto wallets that are held offline are commonly known as coal wallets. So in brief, this art, article was stating that FinCEN, which is a part of the U.S. Department 
of the Treasury has issued a proposed rule for unhosted cryptocurrency wallets. These proposed rules will require money service businesses to report certain crypto transactions to such wallets and report them to FinCEN. Um, according to FinCEN, these rules are designed to compact illicit activity. <laughs> well, that sounds very, very fishy to me since cryptocurrency was developed to keep third party entities such as banks, financial institutions, and your favorite company, the IRS, out of your financial business and will allow you to make your own financial decisions and be able to conduct transactions from peer to peer. Why would you need a third party to be overseeing certain transactions that you make on a regular run of the day? I don't know if this will have much traction, but it certainly de definitely will be a fight. That's for sure. One of the most explosive articles that I've come across today was about Ukraine, the country. And this article that was posted by Coindesk is stating that Ukraine, the government there, had picked the Stellar Development Foundation to help build the national currency for the country of Ukraine. This is very, very huge because this shows the initiative that countries are taking abroad to be able to make their currencies digital and become cashless overall. So more so over in the article it reads, announced this past Monday, the Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine of the Stellar Development Foundation, they went into an agreement to have the Stellar Development Foundation as the building platform for Ukraine's digital currency. This caused a drive in price. Before the time of this announcement, the Stella Lumens token was basically trading around 17 cents per share. Now that has basically doubled to a new all time high of 39 cents for Stella Lumens. So this is a token or coin that you want to look out for for future growth in your portfolio, especially seeing how the country of Ukraine is going to be using their blockchain to build their cryptocurrency on. So one time for Stella Lumens, I suggest that you look strongly in the research in this particular token so that you may potentially add it to your portfolio, maybe. Crypto Bank in India has opened its first physical bank. Now, in this article, this bank in India called Unicas has now opened its first physical branch. This article is just another article to show the mass adoption worldwide for cryptocurrency. What do you think is going to happen eventually here in America once all the other countries around the world are conducting their business in digital transactions? Mass Mutual invests $100 million in Bitcoin. Now, the reason why we're seeing this article here is because I like to pose a question to you, family. Why would a co company like Mass Mutual take $100 million of their assets and invest it in an asset that they feel is not a part of the near future? Ask yourself that question. $100 million investment in Bitcoin? Hmm, I'd say they might know something that the regular person may not know. What do you think? In other news, we have an article here talking about stable coins. The U.S. federal regulator says that banks can conduct payments using stable coins. OK, so the National Banks and Federal Savings Association um, can use public blockchains and stable coins for settlement. The Office of the Comp Controller for Currency said in an interpretive letter that was published this past Monday. The letter indicates that the banks and savings associations can now run on crypto nodes and utilize associated stable coins for permissible payments and activities. This means that banks can use public blockchains to validate, store, record, and settle payment transactions as long as they're compliant with existing laws. Family, this is huge because this means that the U.S. government is slowly but surely adopting digital currency into mainstream society here in the United States. Because stable coins are pegged to a fiat currency, 
it creates a situation to where it maintains the stability of a cryptocurrency or the fiat currency that it is pegged with. So with that being said, you want to take a look at USDC or USD coin, DAI, DAI, and another stable coin that's in the works. It's called Reserve, but you're going to have to go searching for that one. You can locate it on CoinGecko and find and begin your journey there. How to earn interest on your idle assets. The Nexo crypto banking account offers the fastest, easiest, and most secure way for you to earn a high yield interest rate on your traditional currencies, stable coins, and digital assets. In this video, we will show you how to start earning a high yield interest on cash and crypto in just three steps. First, create your account and go to your profile page to pass the fastest KYC procedure you have ever been through. The basic KYC will let you earn interest on digital assets, while the advanced KYC will let you earn interest on fiat currencies. We also require you to activate 2FA so that your Nexo profile has yet another protection layer on top of our military-grade 256-bit encryption. Now you are ready to transfer your assets. To secure your Nexo account, you can send EUR, GBP, and USD straight from your bank account. Depending on the location of your bank, this transfer will take anywhere from one to three business days. You can also top up your account with crypto by sending funds from any other exchange or wallet. This transfer is normally processed within minutes. Once Nexo receives your assets, they will be automatically added to your savings wallet. Now you will start earning interest on the very next day. You can always review your account balances on the platform dashboard or in the Nexo mobile app. Your interest is automatically paid into your savings wallet so that the next day you begin earning interest on it too. In other words, your interest compounds daily and you will see that the total amount you have earned keeps growing. When clicking on the Total Earned button, you will see detailed information about the interest you have earned thus far. Please note that for each asset you have two interest rates. The first is the base interest rate, which you would earn if you don't hold any Nexo tokens in your account. You can easily earn the higher interest rate if you have at least 10% of your savings wallet balance in Nexo tokens. The exact amount of Nexo tokens required for the higher interest rates in any given moment will be displayed in the Total Interest Earned page. You can easily buy those from our platform. By holding Nexo tokens, you will not only grow the interest rate you earn, but you will also receive dividends equal to 30% of the profits that the Nexo company generates. So to recap, create your Nexo account, then transfer your assets, and start earning interest. Regardless of the financial market conditions, your funds are secured at all times by Nexo's asset-backed portfolio of over-collateralized loans. Nexo is committed to protecting your assets by lending them to individuals and institutions only on an over-collateralized basis. Our interest rates are kept stable over time because of Nexo's risk policy to never lend without collateral, which basically eliminates counterparty risks. Also, at all times, you retain instant access to your capital while earning interest. You can withdraw funds at any time without losing the accrued interest. You can also add more funds to your saving wallet whenever you like. Finally, Nexo never charges you any fees or commissions for adding, withdrawing, or holding funds. It's time to say goodbye to your regular bank account and start growing your capital with Nexo. Well, family, on this part of the show, I'd like to take an opportunity to help you advance your vocabulary in cryptocurrency. So we will have a word of the day. And today's word of the day is cryptocurrency. So what exactly is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a type of money built for the internet. You can send crypto anywhere in the world, just like an email. It's powered by a blockchain, which is the technology that allows for transactions to be recorded on a public ledger. Launched in 2009, Bitcoin is the oldest and largest crypto currency by market cap. It is known as the digital gold. You may have also heard of altcoins, which stands for alternative coins. These are any cryptocurrencies that are not Bitcoin. Finally, 
a stable coin is another type of cryptocurrency that aims to maintain stable value. These tokens can move freely on the blockchain, but their value is pegged to an underlying asset. Examples could be the US dollar pegged to USD coin and PAX gold attached to a physical bar of gold. Those are similar examples of stable coins. And we talked about altcoins and you already know about Bitcoin, which is a transactional coin. This is your word of the day, cryptocurrency. I to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please take a moment to do so. If you enjoy the content that is being presented on this channel, please take a moment to share your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. Also hit that like button, smash that bell notification, so that way you'll be updated on the latest notifications when they are posted here on this channel. Also, if you're a new subscriber and you leave a comment down below in the comment section, then I will enter you into a drawing for my new step-by-step -step cryptocurrency investment guide. My guide will assist you in getting your account so set up for the next eight weeks. I will be giving away a free copy for all of the new subscribers to all of the new subscribers in a random drawing, as well as for those older subscribers who invite someone new. Thank you again for subscribing to Crypto King, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Family, thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Crypto King for your digital currency news and updates. Remember, excuses are tools of incompetence used to build monuments of nothing. Those who specialize in them seldom amount to anything. Therefore, there are no excuses. Never look down on anybody. And if you have to look down on somebody, look down on them to lift them up. We should always be lifting as we climb. Family, I love you. Yahweh loves you. And there's absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week.